Hey everyone, it's Sid Chandra from the Chandra Real Estate Group, your resource for helpful tips, tricks, and trends in the real estate market. Today I'll be covering market insight on where the market is currently and where it's headed. Before I jump into this, if you are an agent looking for more business or an experienced agent looking for growth opportunities, we here at Chandra Real Estate Group are looking to expand, so please reach out to us for a mutually beneficial conversation. And if you are a buyer or seller, please reach out so I can create a personalized plan for you in today's market so you can take advantage of the current prices. Here's what we're going to cover in today's market update. We're going to talk about the amount of sales, the months of inventory, days on market, Market, active listings in the market and average sales price to give you a full scope of exactly where the market is right now. So let's dive into it. So if we look at the amount of sales in August and July specifically, we can see here that the, the amount of sales in August had died down a little bit. Um, compared to July, which is very normal. August is known to be one of the slowest months in the year because everyone's kind of busy with vacations and uh, being out because the weather is so good. However, if we compare these sales with the months of February and March, we can see that the spring market was very hot and the amount of sales were through the roof. But moving on, when we look at the active listings, we can see here that the uh, month of July, again, the amount of active listings had also died down, which makes sense. Again, less people put their homes on the market because they knew that they'd have a harder time selling them. Moving on, looking at the months of inventory. So for those of you that don't know, months of inventory indicate whether it's a seller's market or a buyer's market. We do know it's a seller's market right now, but it still gives us an idea of whether the market is going in a downward trend or an upward trend. We can see right now now that with the months of inventory being lower in August compared to July, that it was leaning towards a seller's market, which doesn't add up because the sales and the active listings had also died down. However, when we compare it with the spring market, we can still see that it's much higher than it was in the spring market. So overall, it's safe to say that it is still a pretty hot market and it is a seller's market. Now, when we look at the average prices, we can see here that it's safe to say the average price of a home in the Toronto market now is over 1.05 million. Um, it has been over that amount since the beginning of the year and it's likely going to stay consistent with that. The days on market, again, it's interesting to see that in the spring months, well, at least in February and March, it was a little bit on the higher side and then started to die down a little bit. Um, but now in the months of June to August, it was at an all time high, which makes sense. Again, people are out enjoying the weather, but it will likely start to die down again towards the winter months because the market tends to pick up right before the holiday season. Moving on, looking at the average prices of all the housing categories, let's dive into it. So when we look at the average prices in August 2020 versus August 2021, we can see that it has jumped 21% for detached homes, 14% for semi-detached, townhouses 18%, and condos at 9%. What does this mean, folks? It means your money is better invested in real estate over your bank accounts. That's right. Even on a bad investment, whether it's a condo, townhouse, or whatever it may be in any location, you're likely going to see growth over the course of even just one year because of the way the market is moving right now. Not to mention principal pay down. And if you're investing in it and renting it out, you may even have some cash flow. Who knows? If you're talking to me, I'll ensure we look at areas where you'll see that kind of return. So looking at this chart here, comparing the average prices of 2017 versus 2021, we can see that they have jumped up around 300,000 in value. Um, not to mention the equity pay down and obviously if you had some cash flow, that is additional returns on your investment. Um, who can really take advantage of this market right now? Well, it is the sellers that want exit out of the real estate market. You can basically cash out at top dollar in today's market. Also downsizes, people that own homes, larger properties and want to downsize into something smaller, whether it's a condo or a townhouse or even a smaller detached, what they will see is good returns on their principal residence uh, because it's a higher price point. And then when we compare that with a condo, a townhouse or smaller property, they haven't appreciated as much as bigger homes have in the grand scheme of things. But overall, if you're buying in today's market with money being so cheap, interest rates so low, 
and construction costs so high, it will likely go up in value even if you're paying more than you would want to in today's market. Last but not least, we all know the Liberals have won the elections and they will be making some changes in the housing market. Two main points to consider is that they will make homes more affordable by reducing the mortgage insurance costs and provide more incentives to first time buyers in the form of tax credits. In my opinion, this will only fuel the fire of an already hot market. However, to offset this crazy market, the Liberals have said they will be building, preserving and repairing more homes. Anywhere between 1.4 to 1.5 million homes will be built in the next few years is what their promise is. This should help cool down the market. However, the government will need to build homes at a much faster pace to keep up with the crazy demand in today's housing market. Who really knows where the market is headed? But if you have funds sitting in your account and you're earning less than 20% return on your investment, it's worth consulting with a professional to see how you can make more than that on your money. As always folks, please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the market is going to crash or soar even higher? Also, if you're an ambitious realtor looking for growth opportunities, let's connect and see how we can help each other also if you're just passionate about real estate like I am or just interested in keeping up with the trends I do post daily about helpful tips tricks and trends on my Instagram account so please do follow me there and connect with us so we can stay in touch until next time peace